Welcome back to my channel. We are gonna do a little craft today, okay? Um, this is just a wooden letter that I got at Michael's and I did a dirty pour. I painted the sides and I epoxied it after I did my decal. Guys, look how beautiful it is. And I could hang this on the wall here in my craft room. I put Myra makes it, but you could put your last name on it. You could make one for your children's room. I mean, there, this, this is super diverse. You can do so much with this. But this is the one that I made for my Myself. it's gonna go here on my desk um you guys this is a short life but it's a goodie it's ratchet as always so sorry but I hope that you enjoy it guys leave me a comment you already know my favorite thing is to read your guys's comments after I've posted my tutorial and if you guys make this send me pictures I really want to see and I hope that you guys like this little craft Okay, who's ready for a little ratchet DIY? So we need some Dixie cups and a wooden letter of your choice. I got mine at Michael's. Um, I set down a whole bunch of paper to catch all my excess paint and I'm gonna prop up my letter on some Dixie cups. The reason I'm gonna do that, some of you already know, cause you're a little smarty patooties. Um, I don't want the letter to stick to the paper with the wet paint. So we just want the paint to drip off of the, the letter, but not for it to make it stick to the paper. I'm gonna use three colors. I'm gonna use neon orange, neon yellow, and neon pink. Neon pink is my favorite color. Now we're gonna do a dirty pour. Um, I kind of wasted paint, guys. I'm so sorry. Please don't cancel me. Please don't come for me and my inheritance of $10. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, you, I would advise you to buy a canvas so that you can take advantage of all of the paint. Maybe you can um, do a dirty pour over your letter and then do the rest of the dirty pour over a canvas. Um, don't be a silly little waster like me. So you wanna add some water to your containers of paint. Um, I accidentally added a little too much um, so I ended up having to go back and add a little more acrylic paint. You want your acrylic paint. I'm sorry. Yeah, I had to go back and add more acrylic paint. You want the consistency to be runny, but you do not want it to be watery. Um, the reason is because when you put it onto your letter or if you're doing a tumbler, you want the paint to run, right? You want it to be runny and slippery like a booger. Yeah, like a booger. Um, and so... If you don't do that, you're gonna have a hard time with the paint like slipping and sliding and then it's gonna blob up. Like you're gonna have blobs of paint here and there and you don't want that. You want it to be a really nice consistency where it's just sliding down the sliding down the letter or the tumbler, whatever it is that you're hydro dipping. Okay, so what you wanna do is you want to mix it as, as nicely as you can and then once you have all of your colors mixed together um, and you're happy with the consistency of it, like I said, I had to go back and add acrylic paint to all of mine because they were very watery. Um, but once you have all of that taken care of, you just take a an empty cup and you're gonna pour all of your colors in there. Now I know my little my voiceover is a little bit ahead of time, ahead of like what you guys are seeing, but it's okay. It's okay, I can, I'm getting you guys prepared. Also, I highly recommend for you to grab a glass of wine while you're doing this. Actually, maybe if I hadn't been drinking wine, I wouldn't have made my paints so watery. So maybe don't drink wine. Okay, so we're gonna take a uh, plastic cup. Nope, just kidding, I'm gonna pour more acrylic paint. <laughs> Why do you guys watch me? I Listen, I don't know. I'm sure there's better YouTubers you guys could be watching who have their, their stuff together. You know, I'm a mess. I'm a train wreck. <laughs> who am I trying to teach you guys? Listen. Anyway, guys, <laughs> once we have all of this taken care of and all of the colors are perfectly mixed together, then we could move on to the next step, which is going to be to grab... Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're going to grab a... No, no. Wait, we're not moving on to the cup yet. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to restart this voiceover. I'm leaving this. I am leaving this up so you can see what a train wreck I am. <laughs> we want to put white paint all over our letter. And this is a little trick that I learned uh, the hard way when I was doing a dirty pour over a canvas. If you start by putting a little bit of white acrylic paint over your whatever it is that you're doing the dirty pour on, it helps the paint slide more easily. Slippity slide in. Um, it, it helps. So that's why I'm kind of putting the white acrylic paint. That way when I do my dirty pour, it slides around more easily. It is especially works if you're doing a tumbler because you want that dirty pour to make it all the way to the bottom of the cup. 
Okay, now we're gonna grab our plastic cup and we're gonna pour all of our paints. Now, I learned from my mistakes. I definitely, my paints were definitely a little too uh, runny, but it's okay. This is just a small project for me. I'm not selling this. This isn't for a customer. This is just for my ratchet workspace. Um, and so basically you just wanna pour all your paints in um, one over the other in whatever order you want. Do I would not recommend mixing anything um but my paints were so watery that i just did a little swirl right just to make sure that i had a little bit of texture and then you're literally just gonna pour this over your letter in whatever pattern design you want there's no rhyme or reason um you can use whatever colors you want and you're just gonna kind of let it pour uh off to the sides now if you want um if you want the sides of your letter to match the dirty pour, then you can let it drip completely down the sides so that it covers everything. I'm obsessed with neon pink, so I didn't because I wanted to do neon pink on the sides, and I'll show you guys what I mean. There was a couple of bubbles in the acrylic paint, and I took my torch and popped them, and it worked like a charm. Also, you guys, looking back at this project, I wish I would have left it alone exactly how it was right here, but no, stomach hands, if you guys don't know the reference of stomach hands, watch my last tutorial, hee <laughs> hee, my husband is right, um, but anyway, I had to freaking go and move everything around, and I was trying to get the swirls to move around, and I ended up just mixing the paint way too much, and it ended up like turning into this orangey color, which is like not what I was going for. Um, so maybe don't do what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you where I messed up so that you don't mess up. Um, so I kind of wish that I had left the letter alone with the initial dirty pour, and I hadn't moved it around like this, but that's just me. Anyway, guys, so what we're going to do, and here I go again. Look at me just messing stuff up. Put it down, my Rizzle. Put it down. Um, anyway, guys, so once you get it exactly how you want it, go ahead and just set it down and let it sit um, overnight. I have a cute look at that close up. Hey, a dollar make you want to holla. Um, I do recommend putting a plastic bin from Walmart over there. Hey, look at me. Oh, Walmart great value tutorial. This is a nice little hack because you don't want a fly or a mosquito or something to land on it, right? Okay, guys, here is the final product. See what I mean? It kind of blended a little bit into an orangey color, but it's okay. I'm not tripping. I still like it. It's still beautiful. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to tape off the top area, um, the, the area that we did the dirty pour on, because I want to spray paint the sides neon pink. Like that was really important to me for the dirty pour to be on top and for the sides of the letter to be neon pink, because I am obsessed with neon pink. So if you guys ever want to like get together and buy me like a Range Rover or something, make sure it's neon pink. Just kidding. If I was going to get a Range Rover, I would want it to be all blacked out. Anyway. Okay, guys, you're getting off track here. So what I'm going to do is, um, at first, I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, I'm going to put the tape on here like, and get it exact. Guys, that didn't work. So I ended up just putting tape all over the top part of the letter um, to completely cover the hydro, the, not the hydro dip. It wasn't a hydro dip. Dirty pour. To completely cover the dirty pour. And then I just went ahead and spray painted. Now, guys, I, I've never done a dirty pour on a letter before, but I just kind of had this like cute idea of doing this and having it up like in, on my desk. It's such a cute, cheap little craft that you could do, and I really didn't use that much epoxy on this. Um, so I hope that you guys try it, because who doesn't wanna have a little DIY craft, right? A little ratchet, Myra makes it DIY craft. If it's not ratchet, then it wasn't me. Anyway, I just cut off the excess tape. It doesn't have to be exact. I basically just wanted to make sure that none of that spray paint was gonna get over the dirty pour that we worked so hard on, right? Right, guys? We worked so hard on that. Anyway, I'm gonna put it over a paper plate um, and I'm gonna show you guys what, how I'm gonna move it around to get the spray paint on it, okay? Cause Just cause I'm not gonna take you guys outside with me for the spray painting part. I'm literally just gonna turn it like that and I'm gonna spray paint the sides, okay? I'm back, woohoo, that was fast. Okay, see how the sides are neon pink? Yes, honey, that's what I wanted. Get into it. Okay, who watches TikTok? Who, who knows what TikTok I'm talking about? Um, anyway, guys, so I don't care what the back of the letter looks like because I'm either going to hang it on the wall or I am going to just prop it up on my desk. So 
as long as the top looks good and the sides are neon pink, that is all I care about. So we're going to move on to our decal. You can put whatever you want. You could put your last name on it. But I was making an M for Myra Makes It. That's me. I'm Myra. And I make things. Not always nice things, but, you know, I'm still making them. Um, so I put my decal on the side of the letter. And then we're going to move on to a really fun part. Let me show you a close-up of that holographic vinyl, though. Ooh, yes. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and grab our Dixie Cups and do this all over again. Uh, but this time, we are actually going to pour some epoxy on our letter. Why? Why are you asking? Well, I'll tell you why. Um, because it's going to be glossy and shiny and beautiful and... We want to seal in that decal so that it never ever goes anywhere, right guys? So, I mixed up um, 40 mLs of epoxy, and that's probably too much, but I've never epoxied a letter, so like my mom always says, it's better to have too much than to not have enough, and I always have molds on the sides um, that I pour my extra epoxy into, so. I wasn't worried about wasting. Um, so I started off by just covering the top of the letter with epoxy, okay? And then once I knew that I had more than enough, I started kind of just pouring it so that it would <clears throat> drip down the sides and cover the sides of the letter to protect that beautiful neon pink spray paint. Um, and this is just me using my finger. Rub a dub da 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 and rubbing it good is everything you ever want to do. <laughs> Um, guys, this is it. This is all this. Is, there's nothing to it. You can dirty pour whatever colors you wanted. And if you guys wanted to get really creative, you could even like just paint, hand paint anything you want on it. Or you could put like leopard, um, cheetah spots or I'm sorry, leopard vinyl spots. I mean, really the possibilities with this are endless. You guys. Okay. It's such a fun, cute little project. Um, like I said, my height, my dirty pour didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it, but I still love the letter. Um, and I, I think it's going to be a cute little addition for my desk. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my torch and I'm going to poppity pop, pop all the bubbles. And then I am going to let this sit for 24 hours, let it cure. And then I'll be back to show you the final product. Thanks for watching my tutorial. I love you guys. You guys are the best. It was a shorty, but a goodie. And here's the final product, you guys. It's super glossy, sh super shiny, super beautiful. I'm going to show you guys a picture of what it looks like displayed on my desk to hopefully give you some inspo. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys on Saturday for my next tutorial. Besitos.